All right, welcome back everybody. I'm Kalani. In this video, we're going to be hooking up a percussion pedal jingle uh, from Native Tongue Percussion. I got sent this a while ago and I haven't hooked it up yet, so I thought, let's do it together. So I've got a bass drum pedal here. It's a Gibraltar Avenger pedal I've had for many years, and I'm going to hook up the jingle pedal. So what is the... get it jingling. What is the jingle pedal? Let's take a closer look up here. And so what this is, is a set of jingles on a rod, and this gets connected. You can kind of see the picture here. It gets connected to the bass drum pedal uh, in the normal way, and then this stopper gets inserted, and I'll show you how to do that. It gets inserted into the pedal frame, and th then it turns your standard uh, bass drum pedal into a jingle pedal, a jingle foot pedal. So let's do it. So for this, I would suggest you have a few tools. Uh, you can have some scissors. I've got some uh, little wire cutters here uh, like that. And then you'll just need a, a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's it. So we just need the wire cutters to unpack everything. There's a couple uh, zip ties over here. So we're going to cut that off. And I'm doing this in real time, so hopefully everything goes well. So that's one component here. And then I think I could, could I just rip this out? Maybe. Uh, here's another zip tie. And we'll get that out. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so those are the, basically there's two components. There's the, the block, let's call it the stopper, and the rod with the jingles. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to mount or we're going to clamp the um, the stopper, this part. We're going to clamp it onto the pedal, and I'll do the best I can to show you where that's going to go. So right here, the verticals that hold the swivel, that hold the, you know, the swivel mechanism for the pedal, we're going to clamp the stopper across there like that. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. And in, in the instructions, it says use the appropriate screws, which I guess I have to determine which ones those are. Where are my screws? Oh, hold on. They're on the floor. Let's retrieve them. So um, in this bag that you get, you get some screws and you also get a couple other things, which I will talk about later. They might come into play later, no pun intended. Uh, but you do get this little rubber stopper here and you get a dowel. I'm, I'm not going to use these, but I'll show you what they're for. I have another way to stop it. So you get these four screws and I guess that's just, it's just so that if you have, uh, let me show you. Depending on the pedal you have, uh, you're going to need one or the other set of these screws. And you can see about the difference in length there, right? Can you guys see that? There you go. All right, so let's get back to it. So let's see. First, I'm going to, well, let's take out the old beater, the, uh, the bass drum beater. And that's not the screw. <laughs> There's like a counterweight on here. It's a, sort of a sliding weight that you could have on your beater. This, this beater is held in uh, with two, two screws. So we're going to use that for something else. And before I put this in, I want to put in... Well, actually, I want to size this. So this, let me show you on the side. We're going to slide the, the jingle beater down. And it has to go, low, it has to go an, in enough so that when I put... The bracket, when I mount the bracket in here, I can mount it, well, it can't be there, it has to be down here, so the beater strikes it, you see right there? So it's coming down and striking, so I can go about right there, that's fine, right there. Alright, so, now I've got that measured, I'm going to... Take the other side, I'm going to sandwich that, and 
there's a little bit of a gap. I could probably use the short screws, but I'm just going to use the longer screws because why not? So um, I think the easiest way to do this, I could be wrong, but I'm going to get this started on one side with one of the screws. All right, so I have this. Uh, and then I will feed it in between and get it, you know, generally in position. And then put the other screw in. And of course, everything's sliding around a little bit and adjusting. That's fine. Uh, so I'm going to get that started. And I don't, I don't think it matters which way you put the screws, really. I think in the instructions, it has them going from inside to out. I mean, I don't think it makes any difference. Um, and what I'm doing now is just loosely fitting this. I'm just going to tighten it by hand. And then, let me turn this around so it's facing me. Uh, let me show you on the side view. So, let's get this. Easier said than done, I suppose. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep moving around a little bit as I do this. And there is some uh, rubber on the inside. Yeah, okay, so there's some... There's some rubber on here, but it's kind of coming out a little bit. So I'm going to open this up. There we go. It's a little tricky because uh, you have to do it e super even. Otherwise, it doesn't want to move that much. There we go. All right, so I'll put the little piece of rubber back in there. I don't really know if it matters which side the rubber is on. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to put it on the side that gets the pressure, which is the outside here towards towards the if there was a bass drum it would be the bass drum side uh, because that's where the the beater is going to strike right so I'm going to put the rubber on that side and now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these screws hopefully if my screwdriver is working is my screw oh wait a minute <laughs> I can't see oh my goodness uh, I have the screws on the other side no wonder it wasn't tightening. All right, I'm just gonna scooch that up a little. And like I said, you really have to hold these in position. Uh, least they fall out and move around and go all over. So this is, let me talk at you guys for a second. This again is the uh, product from Native Tongue Percussion and you guys can go to their website and see what else they have over there. Uh, there's, I've been using a lot of different kind of strikers. They make things to hit cowbells and wood blocks and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, this is, like I said, it's a bass drum pedal uh, attachment. They also have one that is for a shaker uh, instead of a jingle. There's one that has a shaker head on it. All right, now let me show you. Can you guys see here? I've got this, so I've got this cross, it really matches the pedal finish, doesn't it? <laughs> I've got this cross piece here, and I just need to make sure that it clears this chain um, mechanism, and also that I adjust the beater so the beater strikes it. So I can go up a little more. I'm going to move this whole thing up a tiny bit, because I want it, personally, I want it as close as possible to the top, um, but without hitting the pedal mechanism. That's about right there. There we go. So that's on one side. Let me get this tightened up a little bit. Thanks for hanging out on the channel, you guys. I hope this is educational. When it, you know, I like to do videos live and not uh, chop them up to death. I hope you guys appreciate that, that we're sort of a real-time channel in the presentations. Um, we're almost done. We're getting there. So let's tighten this guy up. All right, we're going to snug that down. I don't think these need to be super tight either. Uh, it's, it's pretty, it grips onto the pedal pretty well, and it really is not going to go anywhere. Um, okay, so my cross piece, the cross piece is tightened, the striker, let's call it, and now I just have to set the beater, right? So it's Striking there, which is about like that. 
and then I can tighten the beater down. Of course, I want to make sure that the jingles are aimed, you know, on either side so that it's, it works the way it's designed to work. That looks pretty good. All right, let's give those a little tighten. And moment of truth, all right? So we're going to press the pedal. And there you go. So it strikes. Now the beater is striking the stopper. Now, let me, um, I don't, sorry, I don't have a foot camera, but I'll just put this down here and check it. All right, so on this particular pedal, uh, I am getting, you know, a sound now. Oh, maybe that's what this rubber's for. <laughs> you think? Um, all right, so I'm going to take this. Let me show you, you guys this piece of rubber. Let's go to the overhead. So I have this. This. This must be for something, right? Well, I think we just figured out what it's for because we had a a lot of metal on metal noise and we don't want that so this has 3m tape on the back I'm gonna peel that off I'm such a genius right this is what happens when you start putting something together without going through all the instructions first okay I'm gonna put this right on there so the so the striker can strike it all right, and I need, I think I need to move, I want to move this striker down a little bit more because I want it to hit right on there. Right now it's a little high, so I'm going to slide this down a little more, and I've got the tip of the rubber of the triangle right there. There we go. All right, so now we've got a little bit of a rubber cushion for the end. All right, now I've got extra screws I don't need, at least for the moment. All right, now. Okay, well, there's another issue here, and it's not doesn't have to do, it doesn't have to do with uh, the pedal. It has to do with, I mean, the, the device here. It has to do with my bass drum pedal, uh, which is that the, the plate, the foot plate, is striking the... Uh, wing nut that, <laughs> that you use. I don't know if you guys have pedals that do this, but this pedal does this. Uh, and the reason, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to take it out right now because we don't need it. Uh, the reason is because this device here is is moving, it's sliding because my pedal is a little messed up. Okay, and let's see if I can, if at least it fixed that issue right now. All right. So I need to move, I need to move my footboard up. Let me see if I can show you. I'm just showing you everything, you guys, because you might run into this. So, so my footboard is kind of low and it's hitting over here. So that, that's not this, this sound, it's striking down here. So what I need to do is loosen this, which is, this, this is where you set the footboard height, right? See this? That's where you set the footboard height by rotating this. So I'm going to just put it way up and hopefully it will stay up there enough so for me to demonstrate to you guys. Now it might move later. I don't know. Let's see. All right. It's much better. Okay. So now it's pretty much together. Here's what it sounds like. Yeah, my pedal's sliding down. Sorry, you guys. Uh, so, <laughs> it would be like this. All right, so it's a light, I would say it's kind of a light jingle sound. I'm going to try to adjust this again to get a little more movement in the pedal and a more clearance. But, you know, this is good. I'm glad we're doing this because this is a real world situation. All right, so if I'm, I won't press the pedal too hard, and hopefully you can hear this, but this is the foot action.
Yeah, my pedal's my pedal's kind of moving. All right, but the, you can see how it goes together. You can see how it works. And what I would do is not use the dowel. They give you a dowel that they say you can put under um, under here. And what I'm going to do is use this, which is this is like a cowbell uh, attachment for a bass drum pedal. And what I would do is attach this under here and use that because this has these spikes to stop the pedal from moving. So I would just attach that in the in the front of the pedal. So, but that but attaching your pedal is another issue. You can do that in a number of different ways. You could put a like a rope around it and put it under your drum throne to keep it from moving. Um, you can screw it down to a piece of wood and put that down. You can do a lot of different things to keep your pedal from moving. But this video is about attaching the uh, percussion jingle striker to the pedal. Again, native tongue percussion. Um, check it out. All right, you guys, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. We'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.